Welcome to this video on the time conversion solution. So you were given a problem and solving problems as we've looked at is all about thinking about how to analyze what the requirements are, designing the solution, actually coding it. You can test it then with different different variables, different input, inputs and finally evaluating it to think have I actually solved the problem. Input processing and output is your key. So you always ask yourself, what are the inputs? What needs to be calculated? And what needs to be output? Now in this situation, you've been asked to create a program that asks the user to enter a number of hours, for instance, one hour, and then to return to the user the number of seconds are in that many hours. Now this takes a bit of uh, calculation and knowing how many seconds are in an hour, for instance how many minutes are in an hour, might be a good place to start. So how do we do this? Let's get started with some coding. So the first thing to do is to have a main function, and that's where we do all our coding. So we set it up like that. And we're going to say print welcome to time converter, or something like that, whatever you wish to call it. You can make it look pretty by adding stars or whatever you like. As long as all the text that you type is within the speech marks, it will print nicely to the screen. Now, what are the inputs that we're looking for? Arrows. We want the user to enter the number of hours. So we could say, we could have a variable called hours. You don't have to call it hours. You can call it just h. And then say input, how many hours are you wanting to sleep? Or something like that. So a little colon. And now, think about the calculations. We want to turn these hours into seconds. Now, assuming, I'm going to add a little comment here, assuming that they are 60 seconds, 60 minutes in an hour, and 60 seconds in a minute, can actually do the calculations and think about what the answer might be. Now for now, let's just do the simple one, which is converting it into minutes. So minutes would be equal to hours, that is whatever amount of hours they entered here as that variable, times 60. You could then print the answer like so. How many hours do I want to sleep? Let's test it with one. Now that clearly doesn't work. It's printing something ridiculous. It's actually printing 61s. If you pause the screen, think about the solution, especially referring to previous challenges, you will realize that it's because we're working again with an integer and it's thinking, it's thinking of it in terms of text or string. So what we need to do is convert this input h into integer input int, and don't forget the bracket at the end. Let's see if that works, and it does. So it takes one hour and it converts it into 60 minutes. Now you could make it look a little prettier by saying h, comma, hours is this many minutes, or something like this. And remember, you have a, a comma to separate the text that you want printed to the screen from the variable. So let's test it with two. We know that the output should be 120, and it is 120. Now, having watched this, see if you can actually calculate the number of seconds, which takes a little one extra bit, one extra step of calculation. 